without different treatments being considered in the fight against COVID-19. Remdesivir is one of those treatments. It's a drug. And joining us live to talk more about it is Eric Arley, a senior director of system pharmacy with Hartford Healthcare. Eric, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Let's talk about remdesivir. What type of medication is this? What can you tell us about this drug? So remdesivir is an antiviral medication. It's the first antiviral medication that has been proven to have activity against the COVID virus. Uh, so it's very exciting. We have uh, just the initial uh, study results from some of the early studies that have come out. Does Hartford HealthCare have access? Are you using remdesivir? Tell us about that. So here at Hartford HealthCare, we have had access through uh, what's known as a compassionate use program. Uh, and that, that was a way for us to get small quantities of the drug for specific patients that met um, very strict criteria. Uh, what happened on Friday with the um, FDA uh, approving the emergency use authorization, we're expecting to get a, a more significant supply uh, probably within the next seven days that we'll be able to use to treat a far greater number of patients. And what patients are the best candidates for remdesivir? Tell us what stages are they in, what is their situation typically? So what remdesivir has been studied in so far are really the more critically ill patients. Uh, typically it's patients that are, um, uh, their oxygen levels are low, uh, below 94%. Uh, oftentimes they are receiving oxygen or they're intubated or getting some other uh, form of oxygen supplementation. Okay, early indications are showing promise with this drug. What is your take on it? So yeah, uh, so the, the early reports have shown uh, that the hospitalization time has decreased from about 15 days to 11 days, and that's uh, statistically significant. So it's important to note that the drug uh, is still in the early phases of testing, and the emergency use authorization really is done because we're in a public health emergency. Uh, basically, with the evidence that we have to date, what we're able to say is that the benefit um, outweighs the risk, and even though we're not fully done studying the drug, uh, there's a desire to get it out there and to be able to treat as many patients as we possibly can. And that shorter hospital stay is great on so many levels because it means the patient gets better and it means less PPE and it frees up hospital beds, correct? Correct. Uh, all of those things are greatly benefited by reducing the length of stay uh, for the COVID patients. Excellent. All right, let's talk about, are there any other medications as a pharmacist that are similar to remdesivir? So right now, remdesivir is uh, far and away the, the leading candidate as in antiviral. Uh, there's another medication uh, that actually was available in Japan previously that's just beginning uh, trials in the United States. That's an oral medication, so it might have a different population that it could be used to treat. Uh, those are the only two we have so far, uh, but I, I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll continue to see more uh, more antiviral candidates come out, and it'll just be one more tool that we have in addition to some of the other meds and the vaccines that are all also under development. It's this so will probably be, oh, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say this, I was going to say, you know, there probably isn't going to be one miracle cure for COVID. Uh, every time we get a new therapy that uh, we're able to prove uh, has an impact, they sort of uh, will have an additive effect. Uh, and as time goes by, hopefully we'll have enough different treatment options that we're able to uh, control the, the more severe disease more significantly. Part of this whole process that I actually like is the feeling that all of the world's top scientists are all in this together, fighting and studying, and it's just amazing to see what we'll come out with. Eric, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.